1833rd Street, this block had many speakeasies in the block. The uniqueness of 133rd Street was so unique that they called it Swing Street. My wife and I, Dr. Theodore Palmer, she brought me to this brownstone. It appealed to all of my senses of um, creativity and none of my senses for money and real estate. It didn't appeal to Bill at all. Yeah, I wanted to have a club. I wanted to, I've always wanted to school or something. I wanted to do something to, to bring something back, but I didn't know quite exactly what it was going to be. And then this place became both at the same time. It became a school and a club because uh, people learn when they come here. It said the rise and the fall of the original swim on 133rd and had the addresses of all the speakeasies in the block. There was a lot of interracial mingling, and everybody had a good time, and they would drink their booze out of coffee cups, and they just party, the party would go on and on and on, all through the night. <laughs>